Hey, good morning, guys. Yo, wake up. They got them. They got them. They M, baby, they got them. Tyrone A. Blackburn, who Diddy's team and the Little Stooges, right, are going after trying to besmirch his reputation and say, baby, don't talk about it, be about it, has followed, literally is a man of his word, and he has filed suit against Christian Combs in California, I believe, state court. Baby, they got him. And according to Tyrone and the victim, who it works on a luxury yacht that Diddy hosted his New Year's Eve party, baby, they even got audio clips. Baby, Diddy has now all down his son, if these allegations can be believed. Let me just start off the way Tyrone did. He said, this is a statement. Like father, like son, okay? The woman's name is Grace. Um, she says, it gives us no joy or pleasure in filing this suit against Christian Combs, that's King Combs, who has clearly adopted his father's pattern of practice and depravity. Y'all wake up. We talking about this? Just let you know, this has a this article has a lot of detail. I am chasing down the documents. California State Court is not open. Diddy's team has not responded. But what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? If you guys don't know, I think they thought they had a checkmate yesterday when they released that in another case, another case, Tyrone had been referred by a judge to grievance. I actually looked into that. It looked listen. But you know how judges be. But a lot of people that don't even know how the law goes. And baby, I just write up on it and find it. He was not admonished. He was not sanctioned. Nothing. He was referred to the grievance committee. But in order for someone to actually make a grievance, a lawyer would have to do that. So basically, a judge was trying to embarrass him because he accused the other lawyer in a different case, a malpractice case, about of racism in the way that she was picking out the jury. And Diddy's team, instead of focusing on the raids, instead of focusing on that, instead of focusing on the son that Diddy let this case come to be, instead of just selling a house and settling out, Diddy's lawyers went digging through what is equivalent of Tyrone Blackburn's trash in order to discredit him. Y'all, I said this net once and I said it again. Look at the people that are crowding around protecting Diddy's reputation. So-called reporters, so-called celebrities, so-called people. Baby, keep your eyes open. This isn't the first or the last time, but baby, it is one of the dumbest times. But we'll talk about that in another video. Let's get into this. This is directly from NBC News. Sean Diddy Combs' son is accused of blank assault in a lawsuit that also names Diddy as a defendant. Ooh. They said Sean Diddy Combs, who is subject to a federal blank trafficking investigation, has been named as a defendant in a new lawsuit that alleges his son, Christian, a.k.a. King Combs, we're going to call him King, um, uh, blank assaulted a woman while she was working on a yacht. The music mogul had charted for a trip at the end of 2022. I want to see them because that's the thing. If you guys don't know, remember that show on Bravo Below Deck about people that work on luxury yachts? Apparently, this girl's a legend. It was just like Below Deck, but it was mixed with Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? Y'all wake up. I woke up for this. Y'all gonna have to wake up. It was um, uh, it was just like that with Sodom and Gomorrah. They cannot say they were not there. They cannot say that it didn't happen. There is, all they can say is this, It was, and also, we're going to get into this. This girl was actually fired. So the yacht company is probably in trouble too. Um, so you can't even say that it didn't happen because she got fired because she was messing around with the guests. All we can say, all they can say is, well, it was consensual. And right. It all they can say is, oh, it was consensual. And here's the thing about it being consensual. She claims she has tapes that proves it 100 percent wasn't baby. And if it's anything like a Tyrone Blackburn production, they got pictures and documented evidence too. Woo. Let's get into this. The allegation is the latest in a wave of lawsuit accusing Diddy of blank assault, blank trafficking, and engaging in other criminal activity. He has denied all allegations, 
calling them sickening. The feds seem to have their own investigation they are conducting that seems to be corroborating what's going on. Okay, they said in the suit filed on Thursday in Los Angeles County Superior Court, Grace O. O. Makai, Makai, Marika, it's M A R C A I G H. How do you pronounce that last name? Let's just call her Grace. We want to put respect on her name. Alleges that Christian Blank assaulted her in late December 2022, damn, after Christmas, while she was working on a boat charter that had been sold as a wholesome family excursion and it turned into a hedonistic environment. The alleged assault happened just days before Diddy hosted a New Year's Eve yacht party with a long list of celebrity guests. Christian is accused of blank assault, blank harassment, and infliction of emotional distress in the lawsuit. Diddy is being sued for premises liability as the person who chartered the yacht and for aiding and abetting his son in the alleged assault. Representative for Christian and Diddy did not immediately respond to requests for comment Thursday night. They were probably busy digging through Tyrone, uh, Tyrone Blackburn's um, uh, uh, trash. Why they pass it on to their flunkies on Twitter to try to put some respect. Keep put in your career and everything on that. But you know what? People always show themselves, so that's cool. Um, they said Sean Combs has denied all recent allegations against them. Again, the lawyers are too busy digging through Tyrone's trash. <laughs> anyway, Tyrone said, like, father, like son. It gives us no joy or pleasure to for in filing this suit against Christian Combs, who has clearly adopted his father's pattern of practice and depravity. In her suit, Grace alleges that Christian Combs her and essayed her. She included transcriptions of audio clips that she states are evidence of her denying his advances as he groped her. The suit states the clips were recorded by a producer in the studio. <laughs> Little Rod strikes again, did he? Again, it's good for us because it's his downfall if these allegations can be true. But why didn't did he just pay Little Rod his 50000 Grace was only 25 at the time of the alleged assault. She worked as a steward providing um, uh, providing dinner and drink service on a yacht from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and witnessed partying and blank use between a constant rotation of suspected blank workers. Now, we will talk about this after this, but this just corroborates what little Rob was saying. Somebody that actually worked at one of their things said they witnessed party favors being passed around. They witnessed suspected blank workers and celebrities, okay? She also alleges in the complaint that she suspected bottles of alcohol were laced with drugs because women began to fall over themselves, panic, and pass out after just one drink. Around December 28th, Grace was informed that Christian would be joining the party to record the, with music producer Rodney Little Rod Jones in the yacht's makeshift studio, the shoot suit states. Remember when Ethiopia Haberman was like, what are you talking about? I've only been in the studio. I've never seen anything. And everybody else was like, but Diddy always has parties and freak offs in the studios, if you can believe Cassie and Little Rod. So you saying you're in the studio don't make no difference. And didn't Diddy regularly have freak offs in all of his houses? So you saying you just stopped over the house, that, that ain't saying nothing anyway. All right. Again, all this stuff is feeding into the larger narrative. Now, again, everybody maintains his, uh, their innocence. These are allegations that have been put in front of a court of law because they want to prove what they're saying is true. And they want Diddy and now Christian held accountable. Now, it's important to note that as much as Diddy's people are yep, 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 yapping in social media and passing it on to uh, 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 mediocre people, you know what, let me not make personal attacks, right? Um, but as much as they're passing it on to their flunkies, uh, they have not officially responded to Tyrone Blackburn's suit. It's funny how they're trying to make the social media pressure Little Rod to drop the suit, but they will not, it appears at this point, give evidence to make Little Rod and at this point, Grace drop the suit. All right. They said Christian 
or uh, had been staying on shore at a villa, but joined his father in the evenings. The woman's grace's suit alleges he arrived heavily intoxicated and, it, and that he paid an inappropriate amount of attention to her. Christian then pressured, pressured Grace to take shots of tequila that she believes he bought on board. After the shot, Grace states in the lawsuit that Christian became aggressive and insisted she drink more. Grace became fearful and began to feel the effect of the tequila, which she quickly suspected had been spiked. The situation escalated as Christian groped her legs, mm, booty, and private parts. Wow. So as soon as that shot hit, he, she said he was all over her like slime, just everywhere. The suit details... Uh, the suit details audio recordings in which it states that Grace can be heard declining alcohol, saying she had to leave, and telling Christian to stop touching her with what sounds like kissing noises in the background. So, you know for consent. They're always arguing, did you say no? Did you say no? Did you say no? She claims she has it on thing saying a million times, no, 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 leave me alone. And this is after she took that shot she suspect was laced. And after that, Christian just became like a little octopus. Anyway, right? The audio was recorded by Rodney Jones, the producer who was in the studio during the alleged assault and who has alleged in his own lawsuit that he was required to record Diddy constantly. Oh, that's how Little Rod has all this. And had hours of footage in which the music mogul and his staff allegedly engaged in criminal conduct. Remember, everybody's been saying that Diddy has people that records him all the time because he said eventually he was going to make a movie or a documentary about himself. So that was part of Little Rod's job to be the cameraman and document everything. That's why he has hundreds and hours of footage. And that's why Diddy should be scared and everybody else around. I wonder if they got Lucy, Lucy and Grange. Uh, he said he wasn't there, but do they have it in 4K? Are we going to see it on the next Stevie J thing? Come on, this would look like in a real Diddy party. Also, I do want to say this before we keep going. Lucy and Grange, the head of Universal Music Group, keep saying it's ridiculous. He's never met Sean Combs. Lucy and Grange has, there are pictures of, um, who is it? Uh, Justin Bieber. There are well, him with Justin Bieber, him with this, him with that. He regularly pals around with artists. Diddy was a big, big deal. Why wouldn't he go to one of Diddy's famous parties? It almost defies logic, but Lucian says it wasn't him. Anyway, NBC News said they heard two clips of audio transcribed in the suit purportedly from the night of December 28th, but it has not been verified who was recorded. She said, Excuse me, don't touch my legs like that. I'll move my legs where I want to, Grace is heard saying in the recorded detailed, detailed in the suit. If I want to do this, then I will. You don't touch my legs like that. Listen, then you hear Christian alleged reply, listen, you and everybody in the crew, right? And Grace says, I can't, I have to go down. I have to go down. If you guys don't talk about, she's not talking about going down on him. If you if you've ever been on luxury yacht, the crew stays below deck. So when the crew says I have to go down, after certain times they're not allowed to be on the deck with you. Okay, so when she says I have to go down, she's saying she has to go down to the crew quarters, which is below deck. Anyway, Christian then insisted that Grace stay with them, but she responds she cannot unless he makes the request to the crew leader. Okay. Now, Grace says she answered this way because she knew anyone of authority who could approve the request would be asleep and Christian would not be able to contact them. Now, the thing is, I understand why this girl did this. This guy's a billionaire. He's a paying customer. You don't want to tell them no, because also these people live off of their tips and she doesn't want to mess up the tip. For at the end of the tip, they get tips of 15000 20000 30000 that is split up between the crew. You don't want to do anything to anger them that will mess up the tip. But at the same time, you don't want to be caressed by Diddy's son. Anyway, right? So you heard K King Combs saying, who can I talk to? I'm going to say I requested you right now. She said, and then you hear Grace said, well, you can take your hand off my A for the first thing. 
Mind you, this girl feels like she's been roofie. So I imagine she sounds like she's slurred on those recordings. But NBC News has said you can clearly tell, keep hearing her say, take your hand off my egg, get off my leg, stop touching me. Grace then attempted to resume her duties and finish her shift once she was able to leave the studio, the suite says. Christian found her in a short time later and insisted she find him a place to sleep. She, she directed him to the Yacht Cinema, which was used as an extra sleeping area, where he blocked her in. Christian allegedly began to grope her and took off his clothes. She said his blank was strong like wood, and he grabbed her arms and was trying to force Grace to perform sloppy toppy on him. The lawsuit has pit photos of bruising on Grace's forearm and alleges it was caused by when Christian grabbed her. Grace fought him off until someone else walked in. Oh my God. Christian is going down. I'm telling everybody protecting Diddy, y'all need to be worried about your own self. And you need to start seeing if you can maybe get a plea deal. The ele And anyone that wants to hang their reputation on it, Again, who knows how these trials are going to go. If the evidence they have is sound, it is going to go down. The alleged assault had a deep impact on Grace's mental health as well as her professional and personal lives. When Grace complained to the yacht captain the next day, the suit alleges the captain did not believe her and failed to investigate. She alleges the captain retaliated against her until she was terminated in May 2023. Her mental health deteriorated. The woman had anxiety, panic attacks, as, as well as severe deletion ideations. Grace alleges that the emotional strain affected her physical health and that she developed, oh my God, an eating disorder and epileptic seizures following the assault. She is seeking unspecified damages. She says, I'm here to fight for those who can't fight for themselves. I'm sorry, this is the lawyer speaking. I'm here to fight for those who can't fight for themselves and I applaud Grace for being so brave to come forward with the truth. This is attorney Rodney S. Diggs. So I guess uh, Tyrone A. Blackburn and Rodney S. Diggs are both working on this case. I guess that is the case, the lawyer in California. Um, hopefully her story will inspire others to come forward. This is the first suit to accuse uh, Christian of SA. As we all know, yo, 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 why didn't they just settle? Y'all listen, I'm gonna chase down this lawsuit. We are gonna go live for the dramatic reading. And again, I got some juice about Shine. And also what's going on with that Jay-Z Diddy situation? Notifications on, heavy upload day. Good morning, sunshine. I wish I had better news, but baby, we are seeing the fall of Diddy's empire. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.